My name is Paula, and in this video, we're going to try to create the perfect curls. We're going to start with the Dyson hair wrap, which actually has quite a few heads. And we're going to use this one. This is a smaller one as well, but I like the curls, so we're going to see how this one works. So, this has little arrows on it to show you the direction of the air that's coming out. say that at least this side is more wavy than curly. Here we have a, a good one in the front but mm, I will say considering the price it's a 7 out of 10. We're going to use this heatless curling set which includes this little thing and a hair clip and these to tie it. It's actually very easy to use. First you clip it into your hair, you divide your hair into two parts, you take pieces and do that. And then you add a little piece, go around again and add a little piece. And then in the end you use the tie. That's it. I have to say though that I'm not dividing my hair into a lot of different parts just because I like it bigger but if you like small curls you can divide it into more pieces but then it might take a little longer as well. And now we just have to see the end result. So this is the end result of the heatless curler set and I will say it's way more curly, heatless, which is less damaging for the hair, super easy to use and cheap as well. So for me, this is a 10 out of 10. Another way, and I know it sounds a little silly, but it is to actually do it with your fingers. That's how I've been doing it for many years and it actually always worked really well. Take your hair and Curl it like that while it's drying and in the end it's gonna look like this. So this is what it looks like now that it's dry and, and it's not so much curly maybe as it's wavy but I didn't use any material at all so it was free and also didn't damage the hair. So I think this is a solid 6 out of 10. Another heatless option to curl the hair is with this bun and for that we start by making a high ponytail. When that's done, we pop this on. We divide the hair into a few sections and then what we're going to do with these different parts is we will put them under here and get them out through the hole in the middle. And then you repeat that until all of the hair is curled around it. So ideally you do it overnight and then it, it has a lot of time to dry. So let's see what it looks like on the next day. So yeah, this is actually not too bad at all. It's very voluminous which I think is nice. So I will give it a 7 out of 10. 